I believe we're gonna start now the business. I will pass the microphone and I will listen also. So we'll see. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, today we want to show you how to make a tartar citron. So we're having two parts. One will be the bottom part, the pastry, and then the filling. So it won't take much time from you. Most of you, okay, you are from the US. Most of you know how to do this. You can actually replace it, the citron with a lime. Then you have your famous lime cake. So then you also can add uh, some meringue on the top or divide it in the direction as you like. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So as you like. It. Always a little bit. Of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I suggest you take a cup of the pasta out now before you go to the market, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, just a little bit. And as you can see for the pastry, for the butter part of the pie, you need, don't need much ingredients. Only for the uh, butter, there you have to be uh, make sure that the butter really got room temperature, that you're getting a nice mixture with the sugar and the flour. Yeah, and the, the, the pinch of salt. So I was measuring everything downstairs in the valley. I'm going to try to show you. Should I put gloves yet? Am I about to do something? No, you Okay, very good. Well, I was worried, ladies and gentlemen, always when I cook home, I have a drink. Because, just to make sure that everything's going well. Okay. Having the butter, as you can see, the butter is on room temperature, just give me a little bit above. Yep, I will show you. Yeah, yeah. In the real cooking shows, you know, you have now the camera on the top, you see, but we try to keep the level down from the table so that you can see also. So the sugar, flour. Sugar and flour, we'll mix it together, okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's press the bottom of the mixer yeah. too. Okay. All right. There you make the dough. When you have done the dough, this here is very soft and you have to give it to rest for an hour in the fridge. And then the soft butter gets hot again. So like this, it's very difficult to roll it. But when you have it in the fridge, and the butter goes on uh, the temperature of the fridge, you can roll it nicely. So... Oh, oh well, that's why you're using this in the galley chef? Yeah, well, I'm good. using it in the restaurant for different purposes, but <laughs> well, I will know. Thank you. So what you're saying now, when you do the dough, you put it in the fridge to rest, yes, right? Yes, to rest, and the butter gets Okay. How long time, approximately? That's okay. Okay, half an hour, ladies and gentlemen, resting time. Whew. I already got time. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you had this half hour. Wait a minute. So, the resting time we're keeping now. Okay, so let's say that the hour dough is rested already. Yeah. <laughs> then I just make a small one only for the show. It's easier when you have a two pound pass. Okay. Then later on, when it's back, you just pop it up and you have to take it and take it out. Oh, that's a very good thing, chef. <laughs> no. I believe those things they can buy from the store anywhere, not complicated, right? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen. And just to make be on the same side, if you think spray and cook, but usually it's, it's too much butter, it's too much fat, that you also can skip it. That's like in Portugal, we've done it with the pasta de nata, and there you're using puff pastry, and the puff pastry is also mainly ingredients with uh, butter. Yeah, well, ladies and gentlemen, well, if, you, if you cook in France, well, butter is a mandatory, no matter if <laughs> it's needed or not. Eh? Okay, so what we do now, we put the dough in the form. Very yes, good. Yes, we put in the dough, okay. making sure it goes nice on the edges, which even you can clean up after baking process. So, and remember, there's too much butter inside, that's even after baking, when you take it out of the oven, it's still soft. It's only getting uh, solid when it's put down. 
also after the taking of the Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this dessert is not going to have an emergency guest, I assume. <laughs> so we got a little bit for a little bit. That's the dough, it's not rising from the green process, from the bottom. So we need to remove it, but also the dough can be nicely. So, okay. yes, actually, the pastry part. Now we're coming to the filling. Okay. So filling, filling, filling. Alright, let's see what we have. Some eggs. Yeah, we have in three whole eggs. Fresh one. Three whole eggs. Okay, we'll break them in. Alright. It looks like you've done this before, Chef. Well done. Because for your pass around, then I separated the egg yolk from egg white, three egg yolks here in here. So, three whole eggs and three egg yolk on it. Okay. Well, very interesting. Oh, it's good. Well, I'll put you on the door. Yes, okay. Let's be looking to the home again. You also give me some electrical device. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, and, and nowadays, yeah, if you have some kind of mixer, nobody will tell you anything. So, now, we have the rest of 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 the rest the rest of 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 the <laughs> so we're melting the butter more. Okay. We're adding the sugar. Alright. So melting butter, sugar, yeah. right? Yeah, the freshly pressed lemon juice. Okay. So that's the point where you're using them when you want to make a lime cake. We're using lime juice. When you want to make an orange cake, use orange juice. Juice. Okay, so pretty much you modify the flavor only with the juice. Yes. The rest is the same base. Yes, okay. Same base. Even you can add some uh, your, some lemon zest, the lime cake, some lime zest to make the flavor more intensive. You have to figure out when you do by yourself how sweet you want it. You can make it more sweet, you put more sugar in as per recipe when you want it less. You can make it sugar free, also possible. So, can we put the chocolate instead? Don't confuse me. Just pass your know, Maybe some people don't like citrus. I have stage fever, you know. I have to be focused. Well, <laughs> so actually, you should not invite me then. <laughs> <laughs> I rather like to be more on the Dali side, behind the stage, as in the front. Yeah. Well, well not a problem. So yeah. you can see the butter is all melted. Now, we, this hot ingredients and the cold ingredients you have to put together. Right. So the first thing what you could do is put the egg in the boiling liquid. Mm -hmm. Because then you have a kind of spend egg. Yeah. Okay. So what we do... That's what we don't want. So we give it step by step the hot liquid. Yeah. So that's the temperature going to be slowly equal. Yeah, I will assist you a little bit. So we gotta pour the juice. <laughs> uh, I mean, the feeling. Slowly. So uh, actually, you know what's happening when the egg is getting hot? It's getting more, more thick and thick. So we have to be careful that we don't go about the cooking point of the egg. Okay. So you gotta do this uh, very precise. So during this time, the oven is preheated. Uh, this was 100... 149. 149, 150... Uh, Celsius. 150 Celsius, 300 Fahrenheit. So you can see the egg mixture is 
Okay. So now around six minutes, I will pass around to show, ladies and gentlemen. He's doing a great job, this guy. I gotta admit. Now we slowly reheating all this until we can see getting sick. Okay, so we got a stick in it now. Let's see. Uh, we have to happen. take it off before the boiling point. Especially in the boiling pots these days, having uh, the bottom pot keeps a lot of long time the heat. So we have to be careful and take it by time off. Well, afterwards, yes. Huh? Yes. Well, first the job after we do it. <laughs> well, only me and I will do both. Leisure <laughs> well, your morning shift, please. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so I see a little bubble getting there, Chef. Yeah, Is that the good sign? Yes, on the edge. Come a little bit past the bubble. It's already thick. You also can test it with a wooden spoon. You blow a hose with a wooden spoon on the back. When you go in and then you blow at it, it's, the liquid goes like a hose leaf. Okay, so we use a wooden spoon to check the thickness of the It's shot before it's getting cooked and uh, so it will be... It should easily out of it. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so we have to use a wooden spoon. Yeah, it's a wooden spoon. Yeah, it's a wooden spoon. Okay. Custard sauce, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to see. Whatever that means. <laughs> Do we have a spoon in the bar? Yes, of course, yeah. <laughs> when it's for you, we find everything. When you turn it around, and then it blow on the back, and then the liquid is spreading out. It looks almost like uh, when you look on the top of a horse, you know. Okay, chef. So now we read the bell. So in my English. Oh, very good. Okay. So it seems like very interesting thing. Okay. Alright. So we put now the feeling into the form. Very good. No more cooking here. Then we have it like this, putting in the oven under the top. Look back KFT, Kentucky Fried Chicken, golden brown. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so nice golden brown, and then you take it out. But before you slice it, you have to put it down. Okay. Yeah. Got a lot of butter inside, you have to set sugar and Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Chef, he has now made a real one that you're going to eat on. <laughs> That's not only a, you know, a demonstration. And, uh, my bar team will come around now and give you a sample of it. Well, 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 yes, thank you, Chef. Even though I told you I saw Chef with my eyes, he was doing it himself. Well, <laughs> yeah. well that's happened earlier, but I mean, yeah, this morning. <laughs> thank you, Chef. Yeah. Okay, everybody saw the custom? Want me to come around, show you? This morning for the pass around they make a big uh, no, that's 6, 28, diameter, 